All right, people, we're going to start over. <laughs> I had no sound. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now you can hear everybody laughing at me. So I, I'm sorry. I don't know how that happened. Um, but I have three beautiful <laughs> models that you saw earlier, but you didn't hear me introduce them. I have Keisha. Come on out again. All right. I have Keisha. I have Amy. <laughs> and I have Monica. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the worst. I'm so sorry. Okay. But they're beautiful, and they were talking about the vest. So you remember when Trisha Malcolm was here, she was talking about what a trend it was for the fall to see all these vests. And I think that that's really shown up in the Noro magazine. So we have a bunch of different vests. Um, and we had, and you saw them, you didn't hear me talking about them, but you did see Amy and Monica both wearing these two vests. So how they look on different people. And now you have Keisha wearing that. Keisha is obviously very teeny tiny and probably needs two sizes down, but how do you like that? I like it. It's nice for fall colors. I think it would be warm if it was kind of crisp out. Yeah. Nice with jeans. Cool. So I think it will look nice. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So go and pick your favorite garment. You go ahead and pick your favorite garment. I have Amy here with her favorite garment. So, so. tell me. <laughs> First of all, it was really this difficult to choose a favorite garment, but um, this is it for me. Um, this is Noro Sia. This is a funnel neck um, sweater in um, Noro's new yarn, um, Madara. So tell us what you like about it. So I, I like that it's it just it's versatile. The yarn is soft. Um, it would go well with blue jeans. It would also you could dress it up for work. It would look nice with a pair of dress slacks. This yarn, I you, I don't know if you can really see it, but you can get um, closer to the, the camera if you want. The way um, it was described yesterday when I first saw this, someone um, said it's like a box of crayons um where where you just see like the little specks i there are colors here that i normally wouldn't choose to wear like orange but i love that there are like little pops of all different colors um it's just the stitch pattern is lovely so that would be fun to knit it would be fun to knit yes yeah this is a drop shoulder design a little funnel neck, you know, it's just very simple kind of shaping. Um, super easy. Turn around. Yeah, very cute. All right. Thank you. Now go and get um, another one that you like and we'll go. Okay. Come on. All right. So Monica is wearing, everybody loves this beautiful one in um, Noro's new special yarn, Hunui. This is called Brioni, and this is worked, this is a, um, a yoke sweater. It's worked in two colors. Oh my God, that looks so cute on you. I love it. <laughs> do you? I do. I love it. I mean, I like the fact that it's oversized. I feel like kind of, it's kind of like a boyfriend sweater. It's kind of, I like the, the loose fitting. Um, I love the, uh, the pattern in the front. It kind of reminds me of an Icelandic sweater, which I mm -hmm. really like. And it's just very comfy. Cozy. Yeah. It looks so good on you. Thank you. Now, how tall are you? I'm 5'7". Okay. So, yeah, that looks cute. Turn around. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Thank you. All right. Let me check the chest. Okay. We do have, um, we do have audio now. Yes. Okay. Hank, thank heavens. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So come on in. All right. Now Keisha is wearing this cute little sweater called Chestnut by um, Audrey Drysdale. Hazelnut. It's called Hazelnut. Yeah. I knew it was a nut. Okay. So this is knit in Noro Suido, which was um, introduced last year. It's a bulky tweed. Suido actually means tweed in Japanese. So tell me what you think about this. So I really like it. It's a little bit bigger, but uh, it's like a comfy, cozy sweater that I just can see myself kind of sitting by campfire and just, you know, really enjoying just sitting in it and having a nice little hot cocoa or making s'mores, things like that. Oh, cute. Pretty. But it looks nice, I think. Can't really see with black jeans. So you could dress it up too That's as well, fun. I think, and put a nice little heavy um, turtleneck or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would look nice. It looks cute on you. Yeah. 
And it's not normally a color I would choose for myself, but when I put it on, I thought it looked really pretty. Well, fortunately, there are a ton of colors in Sweeto, <laughs> and there are some new colors in Sweeto, too. What's your favorite color? Is it green? Um, yeah, I like colors like this, but I put this one, and I actually do like it a lot. Yeah, that's beauty. It's yeah. really pretty. There's actually, you can't see, but there are quite a number of colors in here. You get this overall sort of umber color, but there's also a little bit of kind of a lime green and a little bit of burgundy in there. So that's really, really pretty. Very nice. All right. So what you didn't hear me say while I was um, not while I was talking into the mute microphone <laughs> is that this is um, a little vest that um, I would not have thought that I would like, but it's cropped and it's bulky. It takes two skeins of Noro Bachi, and I actually like it a lot. And I was telling you that it is called Ambrosian, and it is designed by Annabelle Spear. This is in there. So again, two skeins of bocce, and that's pretty cool. All right, Amy has a new garment on here. The cro one of the crocheted garments it's, from the magazine. Yes, it's a little it's a little roomy, but when I saw this in the magazine, I um, really liked it, and um, then I saw I saw it on the table, and I thought. Mm, Maybe not, but I'll put it on, and I put it on, and I keep putting it on because I it's comfortable. I, I really like it. Um, I think it would be really nice to wear around the house on a cold day. It's, it's nice. It's cozy. It's warm. I kind of like it. It has a little bit of a retro vibe. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is crocheted in um, Noro Silk Garden Sock Solo. So super cute. Yep. And I haven't crocheted in years, but I just might, uh, crochet just might be in my future in the next few months. It's so funny because, you know, it, on the table, it, the, I don't think that the pictures do it justice. You know, it's like anything. You really have to get it on your body. You have to put it on your body and try it on and see how cute it is. All right. So is it your turn? It's your turn. Yes. Okay, so here is another one in that beautiful Noro Hunui. This one is called, let's see, oh my goodness. I can't remember what the, oh, this one's called Hakia. And yeah, tell me what you like about this one. Um, I love the feel of it. It's very soft. Um, you can kind of see the trend. I tend to like very comfy, kind of bigger sweaters, roomy. Um, I like the color. I tend to t go for very uh, neutral colors. Um, it's just very comfortable. I, I like the way it looks. So this has quite a lot of patterning in the front. You can see this is going to be one of those that's fun to knit um, as well as cute to wear, which is super important. Um, a drop shoulder design. This yarn is so soft. It really is just lovely and luxe yes. to wear. It feels beautiful to knit. Yeah, I, I like the idea of a campfire sitting in front of a fire having a cup of hot cocoa. In this. There you go. Turn, let's see. the. Um, so it's a little bit longer in the back. You have a split hem, which I think is really cute and flattering. Yeah. And then there is this sort of, um, this little center section that's worked in a diagonal motif. So very, very pretty. A lot going on with that. But I think because you have a very subtle color on it, you know, it doesn't, you don't lose your stitch work on that. So super pretty. All right. Okay. Keisha. All right. Everybody loves this one. This is called Korea. And this is worked in Noro Silk Garden. It's worked sideways. So this is super fun. Work sideways. And then your sleeves are, I don't know whether they're sewn on or picked up. Feels like they might be picked up. How do you like it? So I really like it a lot. I, I didn't like it on the mannequin, but... And once I tried it on, because just to, this knit it in a different direction, I think it would kind of keep my uh, interest. Interest, yeah. yeah. I think it would be nice. I probably would go down a size, but would you? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. but not a lot because you know you can tell it's supposed to be this Let shape a little down. bit bigger. Yeah. So sound kind of loose and cozy. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. And All I right. think again, you know, you could wear it just to be cozy, or you could dress it up too. Awesome. Okay, so why don't you try on this one that Monica just took off, and we'll see how that looks on you. All right, Amy, so what are you going to put on now? Sure. Put on this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this one is, oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what this one's called. Uh, oh, Acacia. This is Acacia, and this is worked in Silk Garden Sock. Um, it's worked in Tarja, so you see you've got these 
these panels that are all worked at the same time. They're not sewn, but that's done with a with an intarsia technique. How do you like it? So I really like this is another one that I really like. I think it's interesting. Um, I um, love the colors. It's it's nice. It's colorful. It's um, very comfortable to wear. This is an A-line shape and a set in sleeve, which I think is always super flattering. Yeah. Cool. All right. You let Amy try that one on next. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So what do you think? Now, here's that same sweater that Keisha just had on Monica's wearing. Um, it's not a sweater that I would normally migrate to, um, but I find it to be very flattering. I love the button work on the front. Um, I like the specks of color mm -hmm. throughout it. I actually really do like this color. And uh, I think it'd be a great teleworking sweater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the kind of sweater you want to have in your office with you all yes. the time. When Especially somebody... with the air conditioners on or, yeah. Yeah, or the heat goes out. Yeah, it's very stylish. I think it'll look nice both dressed up and dressed down. Yeah, so that looks good on you. And I think this is closer to the right fit than maybe it was on Keisha. I would have had Keisha go down probably a size on that, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so Keisha is now wearing that same sweater that Monica just had on. So you can see how that looks on her with a lot more a lot more ease in the body. How do you like it? I like it. It feels nice. The yarn's soft. I definitely think the pattern will keep me interested because it's changing a lot. And, uh, yeah, I think it's nice. Yeah, cute. Okay. And now we have Amy wearing the Korea, which is the sideways one. You like this one, too. I like this one, too. <laughs> there are six that I really, really like. <laughs> so that's why it was hard to choose just to choose a favorite. But um, I really like this one. It's comfortable. It looks nice with jeans. You could um, wear it with um, turn around to work in dress slacks. I, it's just yeah. It's comfortable to wear the pattern. It's interesting. And we had we had Keisha in this before, mm -hmm. and it looked really cute on Keisha, and I think it looks really cute on Amy too. Have you tried this one? Or I have not. Okay. It looks cute on everyone it, I've seen. Yeah, it, it really, <laughs> it really it does. And I don't know whether that's because it's sideways knit. Turn around. Let's see. Is the other side. So it, I think it just has the one seam. So the whole bit of it's just one seam here. So that's kind of a fun and interesting construction. All right. Okay. Keisha. So now Keisha is wearing this, this one in um, the Silk Garden sock, which I think is really pretty. What do you nice. think? I like it. This one's acacia again. Yeah. yeah. Very pretty. Lots of different colors. A different look too with a different yeah. amount of ease. Definitely. Right. You get more of that a kind of A-line mm -hmm. effect. And I like that. Do you? I think that looks better. You know, a little bit more fitted in here. Mm -hmm. That looks and good. Flare out. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. The sleeves are nice too. You know, they're not really wide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll tell you that Mary Hansen had this on too, and she is absolutely in love with it. I think we might have to have a knit along on this. Yeah. Oh, I will tell you that we are doing an intarsia class so that you can learn this technique um, next month, October 2nd. Ginny's going to be teaching that. So that's super Very fun. Exciting. Yeah. All right. So yeah, who's going next? Okay. All right. So here's Monica. Now we've, you've seen all three models wearing this same sweater and same sweater, Three different models. I think it looks incredible on all of you. And it's, it's three different looks uh, based on the models, obviously. But I, I don't necessarily have much to add with regards uh, to what everybody else said. But I do like the, uh, the stitching in the front. I think it'd be a fun, to, fun sweater to knit. Mm -hmm. um, love the colors. And it's yeah. very comfortable. Super fun. All right. So I need you to maybe look at the comments and see how we're doing up there. If there's anything that needs to come out. <laughs> okay. Oh Amy. All right. So here we have Amy. Everybody else has tried this on. Now you're trying it on too. And I think that looks great on you. Yeah, this is a, one of my six. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first one you're going to start? Oh, uh, where is my, someone has, my sweaters disappeared. The oh. first one oh. is this one. The first one I had on with the, like, the box of crayons. Yes. Mm -hmm. Keisha's going to put that on. So. Yeah. Very cute. Uh, How we from doing? a comment standpoint, um, the love okay. loves the Korea. All right, uh, the yep. Nelly multicolor. Okay, good, good. All right, Korea so we have we have sound. So I'm so, I'm so sorry, you guys. 
<laughs> I had thought I had everything all sorted out and somehow I hit the mute button. Okay, so let's see Keisha in Sia. So this is that that one. How do you like that? So I like the pattern. I'm not a fan of the colors much just because I think a different color would look better on right. me. But I do like the, the pattern or the texture of the sweater. Probably would maybe go down a size. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think so. it's probably. Let's turn and see. on the Yeah. Yeah, I but think I like the, you know, the length of it and everything else is really nice. It's soft. Mm hmm. And I think, again, it would keep my interest because it's not just stocking it. Not boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can see that Keish is a winter. So she needs definitely brighter colors to go with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Good, good. Okay. Where are my... Yeah, come on. Let's see. I like that one. Yeah. So this is Amy wearing Brioni again. So one beautiful. of my six. <laughs> <laughs> we got them queued up. <laughs> So, um, yeah, this one has looked good on everyone that's tried it on. Um, it's comfortable. It's nice and warm. It's cozy. Yeah. Do, do you like the yarn? I do like the yarn, yes. I think that's really pretty. So does anybody want to see a particular one? Um, yes. I think everybody likes it. Yeah. Nubby, that nubby texture. So the Madara is a really, really pretty yarn. I'm excited for that to come in because I do think it's just so fun. It reminds me of the some of the early Silk Garden Solo that has all the, the tweed in there. All right, let's see what you got. I can't remember the name of this one, but it's in the magazine. Um, and this is knit in Okunashima. It's a raglan and it's a brioche stitch. So it's very stretchy. How do you feel about that? Um, I, I like the stretchiness of it. Do you? Um, I think I would knit it in one size larger for me, mm -hmm. just because I like it a little boxier or, or bigger. Um, I love the colors. I just, uh, the greens, the, the blues, the golds, it's just a fun color. Yeah, it's beautiful. So you can see, can you kind of see the haze on this? It's the same as that other vest has this beautiful haze. Okunashima has a pretty high percentage of Angora in there. Mm -hmm. And that really comes out when you wash it. Oh. So it blooms a lot and it gets much, much fluffier. Oh, nice. So pretty. Yeah, it's a very comfortable sweater. Yeah. Did Keisha try that one on? I don't know. Keisha, did you try it? Okay, so we're going to have Keisha try that on. All right. Okay. So while they are kind of looking at those, I wanted to share with you um, some of the some of the fun little accessories from this magazine. So this is just a little. We call it a little dicky. I think it's just <laughs> stop snickering. It's not funny. Okay. I think this would be. I guess. What are you, 12? <laughs> Beavis and Butthead over there. This would just be cute, kind of inside a coat. Do you know what I mean? Like if you've got a v neck coat and, um, well, coats are all v neck, I guess. But, you know, it would just sort of keep you warm, you know? And sure I think this scarf. would be. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's kind of cozy and it's really, it's fun. Again, and this is, um, this is again, another reason to use brioche. It's a really fun kind of little design for, for brioche. Okay. Who's ready over there? All right. Yes, sir. All right. So Ke now there's Keisha in that sweater. That looks yes. nice. Yep. It's really nice. Love the colors on it. Do you Very like nice that? Colors. Do you like that size for you? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's a good size. It would be nice to wear in brioche because I haven't done that before. But I think the overall fit is really nice. Mm -hmm. The length of it, the sleeves are good because I don't like short sleeves. So. And this is a seamed raglan. So you can see it has a raglan line, but it's not a top down or in the round. It's definitely um, definitely a seamed garment. So good, good. Okay, so I also want you guys to sort of put on, oh, who wants to showcase this? Come on over here and showcase this. So this is a really fun, um, project you could you could wear it as uh, you could wear it as a shawl like this or you could have it as a beautiful home deck accessory mm -hmm. this is so luxurious this is again knit in noro whoops Ooh, sorry about that that's okay in the miyabi which is that um cashmere blend this is one of the new colors of miyabi i think it's stunning it is beautiful I like uh, it. just even a blanket to curl up on the couch with yeah <laughs> I think maybe, it would be cute skirt. I may be walking out of the other. No. <laughs> what? You may not find it after the uh, after tonight. <laughs> oh, that might not be so good. Okay, so, all right. 
So I know that people are interested in the cover designs and that this new yarn. So we haven't shown you anything in Viola. And this is one of the yarns that I swatched and showcased for you last week. So I did Hunui, and then I'm going to ask Keisha to put on um, the two sweaters that we have in. Is a really pretty yarn. This one is called Piper. And I think it's really cute. Yeah, it's got a cute little, I don't know if you would call this lace, but yeah. pattern in it. And... I would probably make the sleeves longer because I don't like shorter sleeves. Would you? Different color. <laughs> but well, I do. Yola comes in lots of great colors. I do like it. It's cute. It's different. Yeah. All right. Yep. Somebody put on the cardigan. Who tried the cardigan on? Did you try that one on? I did. You hated it. I didn't hate it. <laughs> I didn't hate it. Okay. It's not your color. It's definitely not my color. I think it washes me out. Itself. So this Ooh. is the design that's on the cover of the magazine. So with lots of bobbles. I don't yeah. think anybody feels halfway about bobbles. I, I, I don't dislike the bobbles. I think it's the color. I think it was in a different color. I might like this color. Yes. <laughs> Let me, but this one's kind of small. Yeah, it is really small, but, but yeah. Yeah. I, but maybe this color is more of what I would go for rather than a light. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't dislike the bobbles at all. I think they're kind of cute. Yeah, and again, um, I'm picking picturing this with a, you know, white t-shirt, pair of jeans, uh, just a, a pretty casual look. Yeah, very cute. Those are my colors. See, I would yeah. wear those colors in a heartbeat. Well, you can see the difference in our coloring. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, did everybody try everything else on? Was there anything that you guys wanted to see? All right, Meredith likes the brioche sweater. Um, yeah, Korea is really pretty. Barbara de Spain. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it great? I mean, I love. I love that all three models can put on these sweaters and look great. I mean, for the most part, they all kind of fit everybody. I think Keisha said, you know, one she would make a couple. A couple of the sweaters she would make in a smaller size, and I think Monica said that one of them she would make in a larger size. But you know knitwear stretches, right? So it's, and everybody has a different preference in terms of what, you know, how much ease they want in their garment and whatnot. So I think it's really cool that they work that way. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, I wanted to feature for you these cowls. So this is one of the, one of the really cool projects in basically the same pattern worked in four different yarns and four different stitch patterns. So I'm going to make you guys come over here and put them on. Don't run away. I'm not running. <laughs> Just covering up your models. Oh, thank you. We don't want any <laughs> naked models. All right. So this is the one you like. Yes. That was your favorite. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I love this one. I like the colors. I like the green one. This one? No. That, that this one. one. That one. Okay. Let's have you put this one on. Which one do you like, Amy? I like this. One. Well, that works out great because <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Although, okay, so I like them with a point in the front. It's just sort of fun. What do you think? Yes. Let's see. Yes, I like the point in the front for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like this. It's soft. I like the colors. I work. like everything about it. So isn't this a great? I love this because this is just such a wonderful gift item. You know, you can pull like one skein of this is Subami. Oh, I like the texture of this one. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. This is Okunishima, and I think this takes a couple, couple three skeins. So, and this is Silk Garden, same. I think this takes maybe two, two, three skeins. Um, this one, I think, is the new Madara. Yes. Yeah. So, it's simple, it's easy, it's a really great way to kind of play with one of the yarns that you're thinking about maybe for a bigger project and see how you how you like it. And it would make a wonderful gift. You could make you could make one for everybody on your gift list <laughs> and they'd be all different, right? You're right. Yeah. I mean, isn't that fun? I love that. I think that was brilliant of, of Noro. So this is a little mistake rib. This is a regular rib. This is a regular rib. And then this is kind of a little um, garter ridge, kind of a little broken rib. So you have your knit two, purl two, and then you have a row of, of garter ridges. So 
super fun, super easy stuff. I want to stand up here, Keisha. So good. All right. Well, I think that's all we have time for tonight. But um, yay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am so sorry about the um, little audio glitch early on. I will try to edit that out and <laughs> repost, but we'll see. Um, so anyway, thanks so much. I will have the trunk show here through um, part of next week. So certainly this weekend. So come and see this weekend if you are local to Leonardtown. I would love to show it to you. Thanks so much and have a good evening. I got one stuck in my eye.